Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just a talker. Talking and had to leap to delete her had to I had to delete this video. Now I have noise over here. There's a window over here and it's a lot of noise. A lot of traffic going by, so please if you will excuse that. Hopefully you can hear me. I gotta start all over again. Of course, the enemy man, because he didn't want me to get the word out of, about God, period, anyway. I mean, hey, I do it whatever, however I can when I can do so. So, um, all right. To start again, this is a Timu. Tamu, however they pronounce it. I've been knowing Timu for, for some time now. Um, I am starting with glasses. I have some shades that I had been wanting to get. I had stuff in my cart from Timu for so long. Just been sitting there, right? So I had some extra cash. I like to budget. And um, I just took my stuff out of for it. So they were going to need, I guess, to put everything back in um, to everything again. But I love to budget, as I was saying. And um, I wanted to get myself a few things. And um, sometimes I'm scared to shop even for myself. I heard someone say that, but it's true. That's for me. When I heard that, I was like, hey, that's, that's not just like me. Cause I, that's just me. Because I like to do other things for other people. And um, hoping you don't carry out to be a people pleaser or anything like that. But, you know, sometimes you do have to care for other people's needs. But you can't forget about yourself. So um, sometimes you tend to forget about yourself. You put your first yourself on the back burner, as they all, the old folks used to say. And, um... Yeah, that was a lot of me, but I'm trying to learn now to do for myself, as well as they say, you can't pour into someone else out of, uh, out of an empty cup, you know, until you pour into yourself, right? So you yourself has to be full before you're able to fill up someone else's cup, right? Your own cup has to be full. So I've been learning all of these things, of course, <laughs> I've been hearing it there again. When hearing things, you don't just hear you apply it. But this is a Timu uh, things haul. So back to Timu stuff, right? All right. So these uh, glasses I got, right? The shades. Like I said, I've been having things sit in my um in my uh, cart for some time, and you know, I've been wanting. So I said, you know, it's time now to do for yourself. You know, some of the things that you like, some of the things that you like to have, some of the things that you need. I've been stuck with these one shade, pair of shades for some time, right, for myself. So, I got the shades in here, and you get, like, five pairs, but I have four. And I have four because I had a hot pink pair, and I gave them away to somebody, which I didn't think the hot pink pair would be pair from, with my, you know, my skin. And the person said, well, I have boots and stuff like that to match hot pink, and um, the glasses would be perfect to match those boots. So, that, that was great. So, you know, I'm always into helping someone else, right? So, that's, that's just me. All right, so... So, um, this is my tea move bag, of course, what it came out of, right, with the items here. And the glasses, I'm going to just start with the first. This is the box that the glasses, uh, literally, actually came in. So, um, and the reason why I'm back on here the second time is because I had to eliminate some storage out of my phone. Alright, so, I'm going to try these on, and they come out of a bag like this. Nice Ziploc bag, really nice. I don't think they even go oh, fastens. But these are thick, like, shades, as you can see. And I'm going to try them on. And these the white ones here, I'll, I, I would say, to me, they're not, they remind me of something on, the, on a movie in a theater that you have to use as 3D. They, they may look perfect on somebody else. You see, I was kind of skeptic about getting these. Uh, type of glasses because it, they're kind of like rectangular, right? And I was trying, it's kind of hard sometimes for me to get the shape of my face. But I said, what the heck, they're just a dollar and 88, right? For five pairs of shades. So I did that. And um, they're not too bad. The rest of them are not too bad. But these here to me seem a little little wide and like I said, 3 d ish like look. But um, it's okay. Um, maybe because I need to maybe change my hairstyle and you know clothes or whatever then maybe it would be you know it would be a little different right so this is my second pair so come out of here as well and these are like a peachy color which i love and they had different colors that you could pick and choose from but i chose these colors here 
So I'm going to try these on. And I don't think they're bad at all. I love these. I love the color frame. But one of my children did get me to realize that um, they said it would be better if Timu, Timu had left the, um, the darkness out of the shades, you know, and kept it light, which, which I agree now when I try them on and look. I agree. It should have been clear, this part right here. But um, they're still nice, and it's a good set of light for the sun. I'm looking out at the sun right now, which is not much sun, but it's light. But it, it brings like a, ooh, let's see, that's bright now. You can see the difference in my eyes. When this is over, it's like a, a um, just like it says, a shade, like a covering over it, protecting cover for your eyes. And that does work, so they're still good. I like these. So, moving on. And, of course, my children tried the glasses on. They look better than in the glasses shades than I did, really, to be honest. So here's the other ones. They open up really slow. You have to be careful with them because they are delicate. But they have that, like, inner piece. You can see inside of there. And that might tear up quickly. So here's the next one. And they're not bad at all, either. They fit really well. I like the way they fit. So they're like a grayish, clearish color on them, as you can see. And so... The last but not least, they're plain black, and this is how they fit on here as well. And they look a little long, almost like the white ones, but they they can pass uh, better than the white ones because they're black. Black is just totally different from the white color of certain things to me. You know, black just works, and there it looks better even when I to me when I put it on personally on my nose, they look better. So. Yeah, but they're, they're not bad at all. I think I can rock them. By my face being so slim like they are, you know, like I said, I was kind of skeptical of the um, of these, like, rectangle look. And I really didn't want the rectangle look because they had such classy glasses out there. I was just trying to find the right style. I like the classy ones, but the majority of the classy ones that they have on there and other sites are so big. And then they do the oversize, and I'm not into all that. <laughs> I can't. I'm just trying to get something suitable for my um, face in itself. So, um, moving on to the next thing, which is this right here. Now, I've had these, um, this inside of, on Amazon as well. And, um, it's just in the cart on Amazon. They're five ninety nine that I was going to pay for them, but two actually was charging something um at a better at a lower price which was a dollar something they were actually pulling to be 69 cents or something like that and the price jumped or something somehow maybe i missed the price point at that time but um this here because i just had in a piece of paper bag and then i had this now i know you all have seen these as well and these are like the wristbands here and this is the headband so of course the headband you use when you're um in there washing not on top of my hair though my head but you actually use it around it like around here so when you're washing your face you can wash your face and it doesn't drip or get it on your hair lining right so um i like it but i don't like it and the reason why i don't like it is because it's too big for me this is made for a big head and you can tell by the way look because this part here has no business going all the way down here um the headbands normally sit up here at this point right here, but they're all the all way down, all the way down, like low, right? So, I was trying to give this away, but then I might just go ahead and, um, I might sell it and, you know, sell it to someone. Or I might just keep it, because, I mean, I'm, the reason why I wanted to sell it is because I can't wear it outside. I was hoping I could wear this outside as well as uh, using it to wash my face with, right? To protect, to protect my face, from, or my hair, rather, when I'm washing my face. But that's not working right so I probably will um, kind of either I'm thinking about uh, selling it or I might just continue to use it nobody's gonna see it on me as far as me washing my face with it so I might just keep it for myself and so these here also came with it and it is the, um, the, like the wristbands and I didn't get to wash them and mind you I've been washing my face ever since I got these and haven't used them yet so that's the thing <laughs> I need to wash these um, before I um, fully wear them 
and but this is how they they are and uh, it's been so irritating and annoying to wash your face knowing that water is going to start dripping down here and it goes all the way down oh, I, I just hate that i hate it with a passion and so uh i decided finally to go ahead and move on getting some for myself now right so it took like i think a week or two i think something like that that nature may the 62 to night something like that i ordered these and i think it was made at night to be exact all of this stuff um so um hopefully the lord's will if i can remember when i wash my face the next time and i wash these out first i can put these on so that when the when i wash my face the water cannot continue to drip here but it would literally stop right here and i won't have to worry about all that dripping down my arms so of course that's what these are for anybody that watched me knows, and they don't know but i mean a lot of people know about these things now so that's that all right so getting to the bras right these here um are small and yes i've already worn two of these i haven't worn the ones in here this is like a light blue and that's like a charcoal gray which is they're very pretty and um they said they had like a firm hold or whatever and they're really light so when you wear these bras they're very very lightweighted um very lightweighted um uh, and they look very good in your clothing the only thing is tmi as you say i'm not they're not all that full like you know like they should be anymore right so i don't have not much of them anymore but um to put these on they're nice but even when i put them on underneath my clothes you can it's you're just pushing this you're still not pushing what i had so i would rather have a bra that would fit my entire um, um not small but maybe extra extra small something like that that nature and then it would be my full uh, breast and not the padding so I'm trying to find something. These were supposed to be push-ups, but I'm trying to find something with. And this was, this is without the um, the wire. I've been trying to find a push-up that um, fits mainly my boobs, my breasts, but not much padding, less padding. Still, it's it's still a lot of padding, even though they're soft, they're cool. You know, inside breathable, airy. This is how they look inside. You probably look but they have bras like this, the same color as this. I like the same if I could wear them inside out. I never thought about that either. And that would be cute. Because <laughs> nobody can see but yourself unless you have a, a significant other. And they're like a mesh like type of thing. They're very breathable. But you can hardly even feel these on you. So I don't know. Maybe I might sell these. I'll start to send them back to Timo. Um, I didn't want to do that. But, but they are really nice. And these bras were like... One, two, three, four. You get four of these for four dollars. I think it was five dollars. That's what it was five. But that was the cheapest I was trying to get. And then I got a pair of a black pair as well. And that's how they look. They're the same, all the same. They're very nice. This one here, for some reason, was in a bag like this of its own by itself. So I'm hoping that they didn't get it from someone else and then just toss it in my bag. But um, this black one was in the same bag. And this white blue one in the gray one, so but um they are really nice but really they're not for me but they're so so comfortable oh my gosh you can lay in these and don't even know feel like that they're even on you um because i was so tired of the, the bras that dig inside of me and make my arms and stuff sore i wanted something wide like this but they're so floppy and flimsy and soft but they're still not spandex you know it's not they're not the tough supported spandex like and they said it's a sport suspended bra but it's not so it's not true that's not really what it is it's just a comfortable bra which is going to hold your boobs because of the padding so that's all that is i wanted something to, for my boobs to be fitted in the, the bra um and for my breast to hold the whole bra up you know with the support of the push bra but not this padding but nonetheless they're 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 nice and then here's the gray there as well and they're nice they're so so light and so soft though oh my gosh they're really soft beautiful colors 
So yeah. And that's that for those. Now um getting to my shoes. Here's the shoes that I got. And they are so comfortable. They look like cabin like type of um material and color. And oh they they're not slippery at all. They're real firm, real sturdy. There is rubber, it's not a hard rubber. They're really nice. Um this is like a um like a, almost like a vinyl. It doesn't sound like vinyl, but it's almost like a vinyl-like feel, like a suede vinyl feel. They really, really, whoever made these, they really made them well. And um, I tried these on, they fit perfect, um, except for my, my right foot, for some reason, my toe. It's sore. And I wanted seven and a half, but I had to get an eight. So I got an eight thinking it would be perfect. Even though my toes, they still are about right here. When I like my toes here, like, right, they're here. They're right at the arch. And I'm, I think, I'm thinking because they're at that, that corner, it's a hardness that's here. It makes my foot literally sore. So, to me, okay, overall, in all, it's really soft here, but overall, in all, um, they are walkable shoes. But as for me, they're not walkable because of the part here that hurts my foot here. And my foot kind of, like, slides just a little bit, right? So this is like microfiber or something like that in here. It feels so good and soft, cushy, you can tell. But anybody else, they are a walkable shoe. Um, my, my feet are like a narrow. So narrow shoes, they probably won't be walkable. But if, if they're wide enough, they're walkable shoes. Um, me, preferably, I probably just go in and out of the car with them and not walk distance. But they are walking shoes. They're so comfortable. And someone had gave me a compliment. I have not worn them, but when I tried, first tried them on the house, they gave me a compliment. They said, oh, they, they look just like your your foot. They, your, they fit your foot so well. And um, I used to have trouble trying to figure out what type of shoes to wear. But since I have those clogs, like something similar to these now, I now know that they fit my foot well. So now I can tell when I'm looking online. These type of shoes here, um, they, they do fit me very well. So I can tell by the way these shoes, and these shoes are different. I had never seen these shoes before. So it's like, ooh, they look similar to my other shoes when I can just sit my shoe, my foot in those shoes, and they should look just like that or fit like that. And sure enough, when I ordered them, they were. Now, I didn't want these black ones. I wanted the white ones because the white ones were so pretty. Oh my god, they were just like this, but they were just white. The white ones were so, so pretty. Um, I wanted them, but because my budget spender, and I like to shop on a, on a budget, and I like to be careful with my spending, I had a little change in there to do for myself. Um, a lot of us, I'm sure, are people pleasers or people that want to, you know, get for other people, and, you know, we tend to put ourselves on the back burner, right? And we do that a lot. I know I used to do that a lot, and I'm learning not to do that now. And so, um, I decided to just go ahead and get something for myself. So I did that. And, um, you know, I got these. But, uh, like I said, I really wanted the white ones. But I settled for the black. I don't have black shoes, which I really needed. So, really, I wasn't settling. But I was settling because this is not what I wanted at the time. I wanted the white ones. The white ones were so pretty. But, Lord's will, I will go back and get them. They were $7 something at the time. These were only 4 So, you know, I snagged these. I snagged them. Uh, but they were, they're so well built. I don't know who made these, but they're well built. Really, really well built. They are. You can hear they sound kind of hard, but they're not hard. But they're actually soft. Yeah, but these are really, really nice. I have not worn these yet. But uh, Lord's will, I will be wearing them. Like I said, probably in and out of the car. Because walking is not going to work for me. My toes are long, for one, you all. <laughs> so that might be a lot of it. Okay, my toes are so long. All right, so last, I believe, but not least, you know, I, I had gotten some other items before from Timu, but this is not for this haul. Um, but I'll probably share that. I might just, do, like, do a morning routine or something like that, and I use that to clean my face or whatever with it. That's one of the items that I got before. So, here's another item that I got. And, you know, I like braids, and I was trying to do it the easy way, with braids and whatnot. And um, for my hair, so you know, because I mean, I, I've been having a ton this, 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 this white salt and pepper look. 
I love my hair, and I'm starting to love my hair even more, but, you know, because, I mean, it's something that we need to um, embrace, of course, which God is allowing me now more and more so to embrace it. One time I wanted to do my gray, but now it's like sometimes I don't, I want, don't want to go there because it's just hard to deal with. I've been trying to find different things, not that I don't want to deal with it, it's been hard for me to deal with because I, different things that I think other people, that work for other people in the hair, it doesn't work for me. You now, like, um, like stuff for, like, the Caucasians is what usually works for my hair type. Now, I've been doing the, um, uh, the bronze hair, people hair, which I'm bronze, of course. Don't get me wrong, because I'm not racist at all. But I've been doing their products for such a time now, and it seems like they have not been working for me. Past time, I've been using Caucasian stuff, and it would work just like that for me. So I'm thinking I have to go back to the Caucasian type of, because I do have some of that in my, my blood or whatever. But, you know, um, I uh, need to go back to that. And Claro was the thing that would works so well for my, for me, but I've been looking in Amazon and everywhere, and I cannot find the Clarol products. So Clarol, <laughs> I'm here now again talking to you this time. Maybe you can send me some some items that are, because it was this perfect, 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 oh my gosh, um, conditioner that was in these boxes that I used to color my hair with, and you cannot find that nowhere at all. It's like a peachy pink type of tube. And it had Clara on it, and that were, it worked wonders for my hair. I could not find anything after that. So, Clara, if you if you're listening to this video, please sponsor me, and I will share your products. I will definitely share those, and you know, give a good result uh, review and all and all on that. So, um, I know I'm talking a lot, but this is a chatty type of uh, video because I wanted to make sure I get um, everything. That's just me thorough like that. And explaining things so this is something I was trying to do right <laughs> and it's of course it's not real hair it's just something that they they made it comes like with a net on it and I try this on God knows I'm not gonna try it on for you now but look I'll be made to be a lapisock and a clown because that's just what I look like when I put this on right I cancel that out unless you're using not call myself a clown but this is totally made for a huge huge behind head. Oh, forgive me, I didn't mean to say behind, but it's made for a huge head. And oh my God, it's ridiculous. And it's, it's, it's so well made. Don't get me wrong, very much well made as a wig. But this kind does not have any parting. There, you can see it now. Does not have any parting or any of that in it. And I was getting it, of course, because of the color of my hair. And on the site, of course, always on the site, it looks good when you see something to the eye. But when you, you know, get it in person, it's nice too, but it just didn't work out for me. It looked just like what it was online really does, but not on me, I'm saying per se. So um, when I put it on my head, it's just like a huge, as you can see, way bigger than my own head, a huge amount. That's what it seemed like. And I'm not saying that... Um, they didn't orchestrate this well, but it's just not for me. And then I thought about keeping it to take some of the hair out because I've seen people say that they had to take a lot of the hair out. But this is a lot of hair to take out of a wig to make it work. That is a that is a lot of hair. Look at that. And I would have to. That's a lot of hair. And I like for my hair to be thin, right? And not all that hair. I'm not into all that hair like that. I like my hair to be thin, but. Honey, I tried this, and it did not work. And so I uh, put in for a return, and um, God is good. I put in for a return, and they said, this item, particular item, you don't have to send back. You'll just return your money. You know this thing about God. Because look, there again, like the death lies in the power of your own tongue. The video I made uh, before this, I was saying that. And I said, uh, you got to learn how to speak. Out of your mouth, whatever you speak out of your mind, your mouth, that shall it be, right? So I spoke out of my mouth, and you know, the devices people can hear through the devices and all, and I just spoke right in it. Why, why the uh, app, the Timu app was on. I said, Look, Timu, y'all gotta do better than this now. Come on, you got to do better, you got to do better, especially with your shipping and all that kind of stuff, right? And um, I said that because um, 
the shipping, I was expecting it for the shipping to arrive before the 15th. Sure enough, and it had on there May 11th uh, to the 18th, right? And um, I think they were going to give me a $5 credit back anyway, something like that, because they thought maybe it was going to arrive late. And I think they actually gave me a $5 credit back, which that helps a lot because I, I used the five credit that I had before towards this um, um, this order as well, right? So um, when I spoke those words to, 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 through the phone, I kid you not, I got an email popped right up. It said, um, if you want your items shipped a little or faster, we have other vendors that you can send. We can send them to for you to be shipped, for to be shipped to you in enough time, in a timely manner, right? So <laughs> I said, thank you, Lord. I said, because I don't give nobody credit because God is above all people, you know, all authorities and all. He is the one that regulates people's mind, you know, and, and everything. So I know he was the one that, even though they probably heard me through phone, they didn't have to do that, right? But I know God allows those type of things, and God is the one that moves on people to do those type of things, right? So I got this stuff within a, a, a worthy time, right? The timeline that I was that I had set it to be for for it to come, I said, um, I'm praying that this comes even uh, ahead of time, and I really actually had that faith within me. That you know, I was, I was, you know, I was thinking that it was gonna come um, ahead of time, which it did. So, honey, speak the word, honey, speak that light. God is doing things; they're getting swiftly in this time and this season because things have been off the chain around here. Things have been coming fast, you know, in a nick of time, swiftly, quickly. So, hey, trust God. But this, of course, is a team move. But, I mean, you all know who I am if you come to this channel. We are a channel of a, of faith, a faith walking channel. So, um, I am a faith walker in God. So, this is what I expect and that's what he expects out of me. Right? So, and this is what I share to motivate the next person to be nothing other than a faith walker. Right? So, this is all that I... Um, wanted to come to you with um it's not too bad the video's not too bad the, the timing but yeah i ordered the wig here but i thank you for i thank you timu timu for that as well you know so give honor where honor is due i thank timu as well and they're talking about timu this that the third or whatever but i mean a lot of companies are doing whatever they're doing but timu is pretty smart seriously they are they're really smart and if you go on there they also give you an opportunity to even um uh, create your own business if you wanted to do so either through them or, or the through the items that they have on there to start a business of, of you know whatever it is that you you find interest in and whatever you like there's plenty of stuff on there to do right so i appreciate timo and I, of course i um appreciate uh, my lord and savior right jesus yeshua the christ the messiah yeah so that was one, two, three, right? Four, five, right? With the five glasses. That's what they say, right? And my order came up to like, I think it was like mm, 20 or 30, something like that, with the discount. Now, it wasn't actually um, one, two, three, four, five. It wasn't actually five items. Altogether, it's one, two, three, four, which I had hot paint glasses. That was five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is the week, ten. 11, 12, and 13. So it was actually 13 items that came um, in Timu. That, that's the good part about Timu. You get several items um, in, uh, as I say, a nutshell for uh, one price. And you couldn't be there. Who wouldn't want to shop in an area um, like that? Um, you know, getting that amount of items. For a cheap price for like 20 or 30 bucks for 13 items? 
Come on, you cannot be that. You cannot be that. So I am signing out and I enjoy these things from Timu Timu. I enjoy it and I'm so glad I I uh, launched out there in faith and, and, and went on and you know got some stuff for myself because there again we tend to keep ourselves uh, on the back burner and not uh, pour into ourselves. As it says, we can't pour into someone else um, out of an, um, out of an empty cup. Our cup has to be filled first before you fill before you pour out into someone else's cup, right? So you all stay blessed and hope you enjoy this little Timu things haul. And um, the Lord's will. I'll get back to you again with another another video. Be blessed and Timu Clara. Sponsor me. I'm waiting. Sponsor me. <laughs> Be blessed.